Oh God, another successful, tiring workout. Um, speaking of working out, um, for those that are just following me and for the people that have been following me and, and maybe you're just not aware, um, I have some workout videos that I've posted in the past. I've attached them to other car conversation videos, more specifically the ones that center around health and wealth, or you can kind of tell I'm just leaving the gym. Um, those are usually the ones that have, not all of them, but uh, some of them do have um, workout videos attached to them. Um, I'm only able, because I know I got a couple of comments um, wanting a shout out to you, wanting to see workout videos. I can only do them, I only feel comfortable doing them when I work out on the weekends, if I arrive at a time where it's not busy. Um, the times that I've been going recently are around like three, four in the afternoon. It's usually around the time I wake up during the week. You know, I work overnight, so I sleep till about, you know, mid to late afternoon. Um, and sometimes I don't even get a chance to go till about six or seven. It just depends on, you know, what I have going on. But the only time I really record, and even back then when I was recording uh, workout videos, I only recorded Saturday, Sunday when I would go to the gym in the mornings. I don't like to record when there are a lot of people around. People get a little funny um, and all that walking back and forth. There's only so much I can edit. I can't keep editing the, the fucking March the March on Washington girl. I can't keep on, you know, people walking by interrupting the video. There's a certain angle. There's a certain distance you need to be for it to actually make sense. So like Saturday mornings, Sunday mornings were the times that I would go on the weekends. I would just get fresh off of work, go home, get ready. But these days I've just been really exhausted. And so I've been getting to the gym on the weekends a little bit later in the afternoon. And I don't know if this is happening where you guys are at all of the gyms now, especially the, the Planet Fitnesses, the U-Fits, the Crunch Fitnesses, like they're just busy, just busy, 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 you know, anywhere, you know, shout out to Jace. We were talking about this the other night, the cheaper memberships, <laughs> you know, the cheaper gyms, um, you're going to have a heavy influx of people. And these days, it's hard to predict on, a, on the app, on the Planet Fitness app, you're able to see what they call the crowd meter. So you, it kind of like lets you know based on how many people are scanning for that day the popular times the the highest volume of people versus the lowest volume of people saturdays and sundays in the morning to to mid-afternoon and late evening because i look at it this way the avid exercising type of bitches i believe they work out monday through friday hello god all the time they eating right all the things on the weekends i feel like that's their cheat time because i don't really see any of the people I see during the week, I never see them in the gym on the weekends. It's usually older people, a lot of, you know, more body conscious people, believe it or not, it's the truth, it is what it is, um, on the weekends because there's less traffic. So um, this weekend, I will do my best um, to get you guys a workout video. It has been a while. Um, I have switched a lot of things up, so, you know, certain things I did keep because, honey, let's tell the truth, um, if it's if it's not broken, why well, try to fix it? You know what I mean? But I have added some things here and there. Um, <clears throat> and plus, I just think it keeps everybody. Girl, I thought that was a rat. It's a squirrel. I was about to say just rats or this is not turning into New York. But it's a raccoon. I mean, not a raccoon, um, a squirrel. I was about to freak out. Girl, what? They just roaming around. I rarely see mice and rats around where I'm at. I see them. They exist. Trust me. Um but I don't really see them during the day like that. But anyway, so I'll, I'll do my best to get y'all um, those moving forward. Um, I love that you guys are loving the content. I know I need to slow down on how fast I'm uploading because I'm noticing that I might be doing myself a disservice when it comes to the algorithm. Um, that's what I've been low key trying to do is like flood the algorithm with my shit. Um, but that might be going against me because some of the videos I've been posting just really have not been hitting even the usual mark that I get, which is like two to 300 views. Um, so I'm just going to every time I because I've recorded like two videos today, I recorded like two yesterday that y'all are going to get tomorrow. So I'm just going to every time I record and I 
find it worthy for an upload, I'm just gonna go ahead and just put it in the queue. I'm already have it uploaded, but it's gonna be set to, you know, a certain time to be, you know, released to the public. Um, Cause I told you, I'm just gonna keep pushing shit out. I don't give a damn. I'm just gonna keep pushing, 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 pushing. I think the month of um, March, I think I've put out more content in this month alone than I have in the past couple of months. So I'm proud of myself for that level of consistency. And like I said, I'm just going with the flow, doing me and just putting it out there. Um, I'm kind of, tr I'm trying to wait to see what this thing with TikTok is doing because I want to expand my TikTok audience. So I'm going to try to sit down with myself at some point or maybe someone can help me. You know, I can pay you in cigarettes. <laughs> you know, I, I can pay you in in, 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 in something else. <laughs> Hello, God. Um, I would like to create really good clips of um, videos that I've done um, that are on par with certain topics and trends and things of that nature um, and, and, and upload them to TikTok so that I can start, you know, my little thing thing over there. But we got to wait and see, you know, they say, girl, this is how I this is this is America for you. Right. The strong arm of it all. Basically, if the TikTok owner doesn't sell TikTok to a to an American buyer, to an American entity, they're just going to shut down the app completely. Girl, if that's not a chokehold, if that's not an ultimatum, if that's not some strong arm ass shit that I've ever seen, girl. <laughs> people want to talk about privacy. Girl, let me tell you something. These people don't give a fuck about privacy. Your own government has been spying on you since the beginning of time, okay? Trust and believe that. These folks could give a goddamn about your privacy. They love data breaches. It exposes who they can come after, who they can blackmail. Oh, my God. Um, I want to talk about gym shit real quick since it's been a while gym etiquette i also want to talk about manners you know i find it kind of crazy that um i know the world is you know upside down i know that there's a lot of zanies and fools i know that we have normalized a lot of raggedy ass fucking behaviors in the human experience um during these you know unfortunate times that we find ourselves in but it is no excuse to be cunts it is no excuse to be blatantly disrespectful or even try to be oblivious to the fact that when you walk by someone and you, there's a certain proximity, there's a certain radius in which you find yourself of that person. If it's too close, you need to say fucking excuse me, bitch. Look at that dick. Just moving around in those pants. Yes, girl. I just, I, I, I and, and I'm seeing it a lot with these macho, gracho ass built bitches. And I'm going to need y'all to undertake, take the pre-workout, take the muscle relaxers or, or the muscle enhancers, take the, um, what, whatever else y'all, y'all got going on. The, what is that? The steroids and shit. I know that you guys are up to here on all those powders and shit. Those whey protein powders got y'all feeling yourselves, but that is no excuse to be, cause let me tell you something. I will lay you the entire fuck out to pasture, bitch. Fuck swimming with the fishes, girl. You'll be floating in space on a trajectory to be plummeted into the sun, to be purged and purified for your sins against humanity, girl. Don't fucking play with me and stop playing with people because you think, oh, you're this big Hulk built bitch. Let me tell you something. The bigger you are, the harder they motherfucking fall. And if I don't, if first I don't succeed, Sister Mary Clarence will motherfucking walk in my stead. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Cause let me tell that, that rude cunt behavior, that rude douchebag, asshole behavior, can easily be met with an extreme violent response. Don't play around. Please don't play around. Cause you don't really know people in this life. You don't. You don't know what my day is like or what anybody else's day is like. Stop being assholes. Say excuse me, please, and thank you. It's not anything to open the door for someone who's coming in right behind you, girl. It is nothing to be nice. We have this conversation every blue moon over here on the platform, and I find myself like, damn, like I'm, I'm preaching to humanity yet again about some basic ass shit. Something that you should have been brought up with as a fucking baby. 
But why am I surprised? Look at how y'all treat your mothers. Look at how you treat your fathers. Look at how you treat the people in your family. Look how you treat your kids. Look at how you treat yourself. Look at how you treat the people that actually love you and care about you. Why do I expect anything different from a fucking stranger, right? That's how y'all walk in this life. That's what you believe. Let me tell you something. I say this all the time. It's been a while since I've said it, so I'm going to say it again. You will be mistaken in this life to think that you can do anything, walk anywhere, accomplish anything, do anything, period, without the help of someone else. So be mindful on how you treat folks. Look, I have bad days too. I know that I have an attitude problem, but I do the very best that I can to recognize not to bleed that off on, on some unsuspecting ass person who ain't got nothing to do with why I'm fucking mad that day. If you pop off, we've seen this in videos. I watch a lot of TikTok as we've already established where that road rage shit, y'all be sitting here cussing folks out then you meet at a red light you get out of your car and you smack their window and that person shoots your ass that person beats the fuck out of you and now you crying playing victim why y'all think I be going off on the road sometimes it ain't because of what I've done well most of the time I, I don't do shit but you know here and there I have to take responsibility for my crimes okay <laughs> my alleged crimes girl Pro innocent until proven guilty bitch okay hmm but you know I'll be going off because it's just like y'all be making some real dumbass decisions on the road and you want to get mad because I honked at you because you almost ran into me if and, and I told you there was this one time I was driving home from work early in the morning this guy was harassing this lady on the road as we were approaching the interstate. This old, old, old man, this lady had to have walked with Jesus. She was so old, bitch. This man was, because she was driving slow and he had plenty of opportunities to bypass this woman, I guess because he was having a fucked up morning because he was probably late for work or he didn't get no pussy from his wife or bitch, I don't know what happened during his nighttime moments because it was reflecting his attitude that in, in, towards this lady. And he was on her ass trying, if this lady was so scared, it looked like she was about to veer off and run into the median. We were going over a bridge. She could have went over the bridge out of fear and, and being scared because you were honking at her and harassing her in your work truck. So I was like, oh, I'm going to miss my exit this morning because, you know, I'm a, I stand up. I'm, and we're going to talk about some more standing up for truth and justice in this raggedy ass gym. Because there was some stuff that I saw today that required my vocals to let a nigga have it. Because what we're not going to do is talk about people and make them feel bad. Not when this is supposed to be a judgment free zone. And bitch, we're all humans. You weren't always big and healthy. You weren't always built and healthy. You weren't always the T. I can tell by looking and smelling your motherfucking ass. Y'all niggas that got these bodies of gods right now and y'all doing all this extra dot com. And like we talked about earlier with that macho gotcha attitude, I can tell a lot of y'all were fat niggas. A lot of y'all were out of shape niggas. A lot of y'all bitches had hypertension and high cholesterol, bitch. It seeped out of thine pores, girl, and how y'all talk about people today. Keep those thoughts to yourself. But when you start talking publicly and a bitch can hear you and you're publicly trying to make them feel bad, girl, that's when I got to serve your motherfucking ass. But back to this story real quick. So I was like, oh, I'm missing this exit today. Bitch, I hauled ass towards that man and I started shaking my car and doing the same shit to him he was doing to that poor old lady. I was cussing him the fuck out and everything. So I got to this red light. He gonna call himself getting out. Now this big old cracker, right? Big old crack, a plumber butt. He's, he looked like a plumber. I think the truck was a plumbing company. He gets out the car. So, what the fuck, brother? What the fuck is going on? I was like, how dare you? And my, I'm yelling through my window at this point because I'm not getting out my car. Rule number one. Hello, God. If you want to get off quickly after you done Sister Mary Clarence the bitch, listen to what I'm telling you. You stand your ground by staying where the fuck you're at. I stayed in my car. I heard him throwing his little racial epithets and all this all this racist trash and all homophobia. Because you could just tell. Because the way I was cussing him out, I was, I was serving Trina from Love and Hip Hop. We'll read you for fucking filth in an open club. Anybody can get this work. <laughs> it is what it is, bitch. Okay? So, 
I'm not even talking anymore at this point, girl. He, that man walks into my car. All I did was put my window down just a little bit like this, had Sister Mary clearance like this. I said, what you gonna do? You walking up on the wrong motherfucker today. Do me like you did that old ass lady. That, oh, you, he just oh, he turned around, ran back to his car. I'm not playing. You don't know who y'all fucking with. You want to do all of that extra dot com and for what? To lose your life because you want to have an angry ass episode? Because you don't know how to control your motherfucking emotions? Because you don't know how to not take your anger out on people who don't deserve it? What if that old lady would have veered off into traffic and died? And then when I pulled the gun, I'm calling the police. You can call the police. I don't give a fuck. I have a license to carry. The fuck? I didn't do anything. I didn't threaten you. You walked up to my vehicle. You were showing signs of aggression. And where I'm from, I don't know what you have. I'm going to use the same excuse the police do. I don't know what that was. It could be a cell phone. It could be a tripod, girl. It could be a camera. It could be your wallet. It could be, in I don't know what that is. It could be a gun. It could be a knife. I don't know what that is. Pow, pow. You're gone. The police are going to question me down to the station. I'll be released within a couple of hours. You don't now you're at a funeral and I can tell that no one's going to show up to yours because of the, the kind of human being you are. You are willing to run down an old lady. That lady could have lost. What if she would have had a heart attack? You don't know what kind of medical conditions she probably has. And then you want to get big bad wolf and you want to walk up on somebody who you don't know. Let me drop this window real quick on your hoe ass and show you. How very real it can be. And then you turn around, talking your shit, throwing your hands up in there, talking about you finna call the police. Not call the police. Call the police. You angry bitch. Hmm. So let's get into these. Oh, girl, I almost put my. I don't know why I put my shit in reverse. I guess because I'm so used to going backwards when I park at this gym. But today I was back then. So, I'm working out, right? I'm lifting weights. And I notice there is this older Spanish woman. And she's probably with her daughter, sister. I think it was her daughter. And the girl was trying to show her how to use the weights. And you can tell older people when they start getting into the gym, it's because, you know, it's doctor prescribed. They want to be a little bit healthy. They got heart issue you know let's get these joints worked out so y'all ain't walking around here with fibromyalgia and, and you know fucked up joints girl because my knees be cracking my elbows be cracking that's another reason why i like the gym because it helps work that out you know so I, I know there's a lot of reasons older people you know and it, trust me they're not trying to have the body of gods like us younger folks you know they're going because they want to maintain their health and i'm here for that shit what we're not going to do as a group of men who look like uh, john tucker must die some fucking fraternity, some frat brother, brother circle jerk niggas. What we're not going to do is openly laugh and talk about people. That's not what that's not what we're going to do. No. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. Because you have youth on your side because you because you now are where you're at. And like I stated before, I highly doubt, you can tell, I can see the stretch marks on these dudes. I can tell y'all was out here drooling down to the Krispy Kreme donut, bitch. I can tell you guys were overweight. You got no bitches. You probably still don't get any bitches with those attitudes. Y'all sit around and circle jerk all day, using up your mammy's Vaseline. Just like DJ academics sit around and talk about women like dogs. I can tell because you don't get none because women don't respect you because you're not respectful. Hello. I can, I can smell the bitch made on y'all. I can smell it. So I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. Cause I'm like, girl, this is a group of niggas, you know, I might have to whoop they motherfucking ass. And this is at the intel of my workout session. So the pre-workout is dwindling, girl, you know? 
Because that pre-workout will give you the confidence and the strength <laughs> that you need, require, and desire to move an entire mountain. Fuck a mustard seed, girl. You just need some pre-workout and you will move that mountain, bitch, okay? So I'm like, okay. They keep going, they keep going, they keep going like the Energizer Bunny. So I step in, I took my headphones, I said, hey, who raised y'all? I highly doubt that you've always been sexy. I highly doubt that you've always been buff. I highly doubt that you have been the T. And the crazy part is all the work that you guys have put in to be in the T with those chicken legs. You're so worried about being, being top heavy. What about those legs to support your big ass fucking egos? This is an older woman. This is someone's mother. If she was with her son that looked like he could wear y'all out in the streets of life, would y'all be acting the same way if she was with her husband who looks like he would machete y'all motherfuckers, girl, and send y'all back to where the winch y'all came? And this is my thing, too, Spanish people. The same way I don't understand how black people be joking on other black people or, or Haitians or, or anybody, who, you know, y'all be talking about how they swam over here. And I make my little jokes, too, or whatever. But I don't really be, you know... That was of the Spanish persuasion. This is a group of Spanish men. You have no respect for your abuela, for your titis, for your tios, for the people, you know? What you laughing for? She's on her journey and you're on your journey. How dare you disrespect this woman and her daughter? They just starting out just like at some point you were starting out. I'm some disrespectful cunts. They didn't say nothing. They just looked at me. They did apologize to the lady because I think I made them feel really bad. We're not doing that, bro. It's 2024. We got to stand together and as the human race. Everyone has to stand together. Especially black and brown folks. And I hate to see the younger generation sit around here laughing at older people. You, let me tell you something, bitch. If you could live as long as these people. Live half as long as these people. Because at the rate that y'all doing drugs and, and smoking meth and doing all kinds of crazy shit in the streets of life doing dumb shit that end up y'all kill before 30 the old people should be laughing at us and also just gym and hygiene etiquette i'm i'm tired of walking into the bathroom washing my hands and nobody else is you're, you're visibly shaking the pee off your dick you're visibly grunting howling like wolves to the moon girl trying to get that pre-workout dust out of your booty hole because you're in there just shitting, sharding your life away. It smells horrible in there. None of y'all be washing y'all hands. And, and we wonder why people are have, are being sick right now. No one washes their hands. Y'all don't wipe the machines down. Y'all just don't give a damn. And I'll have, I'll have a message for, little girl, for girls, for women. Um, I don't know. Again, I, I have a thing about partners, girlfriends, boyfriends going to the gym together because I just think that it's the it's the wrong thing. A couple of things can happen, and I've seen this firsthand, where a couple will go into the gym and probably part ways. You know, the men love to do the weights, the women are going to more than likely do the cardio. No offense, but it, that's usually the T, right? Or working out on legs or gluteus maximus, child, okay? When another man that doesn't know that y'all are together approaches your girl, it's a problem. You're about to blow up. You see the veins about to bust out, you know? That, that to me is a problem. Um, the other thing is, I see a lot of women and the insecurity that you have in your relationship, it bleeds off. I can smell it. Hello, God, I can smell it. I can smell the fact that you're not there to work out. You're dressed cute. Your makeup is on. Especially if I see a bitch with full beat, 
full matching attire, brand new, probably just pop the tags off that shit, you ain't working out. I observed that today. You walking around with your homegirl, y'all dressed like motherfucking bring it on cheerleaders, bitch. Not even breaking a sweat at all. I haven't seen y'all get on no machines. You're just there to watch your niggas. To make sure your niggas ain't out here flirting. But let me tell you something. It ain't even the women you got to worry about, girl. Let me tell you. Because I saw this couple. They're playing, you know, date night at the gym or whatever, girl. Two couples. The girls team up and walk around the gym on their phones, taking selfies and, you know, all this shit. Yo, niggas are in a group with other niggas. I guess they know their friends or homeboys, whatever they are. My thing is you won't be worried about them probably being a woman approaching them. What you need to be worried about is this circle jerk that's going on over here with your man and his friends. <laughs> Y'all be so quick to make sure that your man ain't being, you know, talk to by other women but you're fine with just letting him be around all of these boys right and again i don't think every situation is a gay situation i just think that in today's time we're finding out hello god that it's not the women you need to worry about it's the niggas and that leads me to another conversation i'm done with the gym shit right i'm seeing a lot of these hoes whether it's for clout because i think a lot of it is Fraudulence, fakery, fuckery, and fraudulence in order to get clout. I, I even think that Reza Tessa, that um, 50 part bitch on TikTok, was lying. But then again, you got a lot of fools that will come on here and just let you know that they were blind and dumb and stupid. And y'all be acting like y'all don't know, but y'all know. Everybody has intuition, everybody has good instinct, especially women, especially black women. Y'all be knowing exactly what's going on. You just try your best to hide from it all because you want your man, your man, your man, bitch. Okay? So I'm seeing a lot of these women talk, come forth and speak about their experiences with either a husband, a boyfriend, a lover, or, or, or whatever the man is to them. How y'all are sitting out here exposing these men for being down low exposing them for having a sexual past or a current sexual situation with men and my thing is this when y'all start going into detail about your relationship you start describing this person you start describing certain situations especially when your close circle of friends and family or neighbors are aware of all of these things, these breadcrumbs that you're giving away, you're exposing them. We may not know these people that you're talking about, but I guarantee you, you have friends on TikTok, friends on your social media that are aware of the situation and who you're talking about. You are exposing this man regardless. Please, 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 please. I beg you women that are doing this, Proceed with caution. Because what's good, shout out to Mariah, by the way. Proceed with caution. Don't be dishonest. I need you. Na, 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 na. Proceed with caution because you are the same ones that are going to be sitting here. Your family's going to be looking for truth and justice to find out, to find the man that murdered y'all. Let's tell the truth. I'm seeing a lot of that shit. And it's dangerous, dangerous territory. You, you see a lot of the girls are being on a live because you're out here exposing these boys for the things they like to do late in the midnight hour. Now, granted, I think it is these dudes' responsibility to let y'all know what's up, but that's the part of the down low life. And it's not like the community, let's tell the truth, it's not like our society makes it okay for men to actually love what they love publicly. And again, I have to say that sometimes a lot of men aren't gay. A lot of men don't want to be identified as gay or bi. So they just keep it to themselves. They like men. They like women. But like we talked about in that last video that I did talking about some when it's black and gay. There is this fucked up obsession with men, with black men specifically, that allegedly indulge in same sex behaviors. And I hear a lot of y'all women tell on yourselves, there were signs, I knew, 
I just needed confirmation. Girl, your intuition is everything you really need sometimes. Now, there's a lot of delusional girls out there that just hear and see what they want. But that that's, to me, on the, on the few compared to the girls who have real intuition. I told you, I didn't tell y'all this story time yet. I'm going to wait, but I'm just going to give you a brief little snippet and then we're going to end the video. I remember um, Daytime Daddy that I talked about? The one I dealt with in Atlanta? There was a girl that he was dealing with prior to me. She was heavily aware. She found out a lot of times before anybody else did. She would do everything in her power to try to get this boy back doing anything in my face to get him back or do anything, invite him over. They had broke up because I guess I had came in the picture and he was living for me. He was tired of her. And that's no, trust me, that's not a badge of honor that I wear. I don't, I don't, I didn't even know that situation until later on. I was wondering why this hoe just kept on popping. I'm, you know, I have, I don't care. This is the first time I've been in a situation like this, to be honest with you. So I wasn't really reading the tea the way I should have, but I eventually got it. I was like, okay, girl, let me put it all together. This is why you're doing a lot, girl. And it's sad and pathetic that you know that your, your nigga likes me and we're dealing with each other and you still doing everything in your power to, you know, I get it, girl. His dick was amazing. You know, I, I you know, if I was young and dumb and trying to be full of cum, I, I guess I would have fought for my man too, girl. But it didn't work in the end. Um, a lot of y'all girls be knowing you're okay with it. I think what it is, y'all get real defeated. You you get upset because that man has actually, in some cases, moved on without you. You felt like you gave everything he led you on. But again, you you, you kind of knew. And for the other girls that weren't where people are DMing you and hitting you up, shame on all of those people. Shame on anybody because y'all are out here exposing people and like i said y'all gonna be the same ones crying and weeping and looking for justice for your loved one hello god because they they don't trigger they don't trigger the psychopath they don't triggered somebody y'all girls need to be mindful and black women i know that a lot of you are have been scorned you have been hurt by these men but there are better ways to deal with it. Sometimes you just have to call it, thing, call it what it is, girl, at the end of the day, count your losses. And again, we have to start turning, flip the script on you, bitch. I've experienced this. I've witnessed this. I've observed this time and time again throughout my life. The things that women put up with, especially the ones who are low within thine self-esteem, bitch, the things that you put up with, you already know about him. The only reason you're telling it now is because he left you. Dusted and disgusted, broken and confused. He left you for another man. You already knew it. Tell the truth. 